Hi there. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is going to be a general reading for the sign of Pisces. Hi, Pisces. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, as well as the cross watcher of the Pisces. Okay. Now, these are timeless, the ones that I'm doing now. So they're just going to be for whenever. Okay. Whenever you feel drawn to watch them. Could have already happened, may not have happened yet. These are also going to try to focus more in on the singles. Those of you that are single, that will become single, or that feel single, whatever it is. All right, so I've already done all the air signs. I've just done Cancer and Scorpio. And now you guys, Pisces, ruled by the moon. No, Pisces is ruled by Neptune, excuse me. The moon card in the tarot deck is you guys, which is what I see. So the moon card in the tarot deck is about something that could be secret or hidden. An illusion, something that you don't see coming. So being that you guys are ruled by Neptune, Neptune can sometimes be illusionary. Dreamy, subconscious, dream state, right? Daydreams. Something about that feels like really relevant for you guys. The moon card is just all I see. Maybe you're getting over a particular phase or a cycle. Maybe there was something that was an illusion for you guys. And now that you're finally seeing it, things are like actually clearing up. Now is clarity, movement, growth. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. Wedding. This situation involves marriage and flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. So wedding here. Somebody could be married. Not going to be married for much longer. Someone here could be engaged. And they're having second thoughts. Somebody here could be like... Mm, I mean, right now, quarantine time, I've been talking about this repetitively. It's the time period when a lot of people are going to have these fucking epiphanies and they're going to go, it ain't you. Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Absolutely. That's exactly what's happening here with this, a soulmate card. Calling it in. Calling in what is actually for you. Okay? Now, if you are engaged, or you're married, or you're in a relationship, committed, and you're going, ugh. Or you're not the, the Pisces and you're the other person. It's like, ugh, see, somebody feels stuck and they feel dissatisfied. Four of Cups, I'm not satisfied. This is not what I want. This is unfulfilling. Feeling trapped. Eight of Swords. This is trapped. It's a, it's a, Eight of Swords is mental entrapment. I told you, someone here is just like not happy. Ten of Pentacles, you're in a committed relationship. This can also be you committed to a job doesn't always have to be love. Eight of Pentacles, work. Ten of Pentacles, something that's solid or stable or commitment. Some of you committed to something, a person or a job, and you're going, Ugh, I don't want it. I don't want to do that. I've changed my mind. Now, you have to follow through with your commitment if you're legally committed to something, right? Like, if it's marriage, you're going to have to try and get out of that legally, right? But I'm talking about, like, a job or something. It's a reminder to you guys for something here. Look, contracts. Um, it's, karmic. it's a karmic contract. That's what it is. Karmic. You have a karmic debt with somebody. You have this karmic lesson with somebody. It's part of your karmic lesson to finish what you started. There's some kind of karmic contract for some of you. Wheel is trying to turn, is what I feel. I feel like it's trying, but it's like stuck. See? Eight of cups, that's why it's stuck. The, the, the wheel won't turn until you walk away from what is not for you. If you're sitting in this energy, this is why the wheel will not turn. Because how are you going to manifest like that? You can't. That's like yuck energy. You have your flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. It's almost as if like you feel like you're not even, you don't even feel lighthearted. You feel weighed down and you feel like dreadful and you feel like, oh my God, I fucking hate this. Something about your friends here too. See, stuck. Four of Pentacles. Either not opening up and letting something go or not saying bye bye. Hanging on to a person. Or maybe they're hanging on to you. Three of Wands. Waiting. Oh, that's this. Calling it in. See how she has that like crystal ball and she's sending out that beam. It's like an SLS. Waiting. It's like someone here is waiting to be rescued. Ten of Wands. Something's coming to an end. Ten is completion. 
ten of wands can be like a heavy burden. Five of pentacles, see? Being alone, walking away, or lack. It's like what somebody needs to do is walk away. It's the way they're looking at it, too. Seven of cups, confused. Knight of wands, things are moving quickly. Oh, I got hired quickly and it just moved so quickly and I didn't know the details and now I know what the details are of the job. I don't like it. It's not for me. Oh, God, we just had this whirlwind romance for two weeks and then we just fell in love and then got engaged and like, oh, my God, it's like I'm realizing that's not my person. Something happened quick. And it's kind of like it happened too quick almost for some of you. You have the high priestess, highly intu intuitive. Like your intuition is screaming it. You're going, it ain't it. It ain't this person king of cups counter scorpio pisces someone's intuition is screaming that the person or in or, or situation i'm currently in is not it and they're actually in the process of manifesting and calling in what is for them i almost feel like you guys get a little knock on the door knock knock four of swords healing but it's also surrender right Going with the flow. Ace of Pentacles. Career change. Somebody's changing career. Whether it's because you got laid off because of the pandemic or whether it's because you decided to leave and make a change and now is better, no better time than any. Ace of Pentacles can also be moving. Maybe some of you have to move back home. I right? talked about that, that a lot of people have had to move back home or make adjustments because they can't afford to live on their own. Queen of Swords, Air, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, and the Nine of Cups, Wish Fulfillment. Some of you have to make a decision. The Queen of Swords is very decisive. She's not going to sit there like this and go, I'm confused. I don't know. Fuck that. She goes, this is what I want, period. This is what I don't want, period. But she's not going to be hasty. Be careful, right? Knight of Wands can sometimes be hasty. We don't want to stay stuck forever, but we also don't want to be too hasty. Some of you, haste is what may have gotten you into some shit, into a job you don't like or in, or in a relationship that you're finding yourself going, yuck. Or this is the other person now. Okay, take it as it resonates. Strength, Leo. But having the strength to get yourself out of this or to break away, ah, the tower or the tower will come. <sighs> Cue the tower. Divine intervention. This is rearrangement, realignment, sudden endings, sudden new beginnings. This could be definitely divorce or breakup for somebody who is married or in a long-term committed relationship. It's over. It's not the right person, that's why. The tower is Mars energy, right? And it's destruction, but it's destruction to rebuild. Something ends so something new can begin. Six of Swords, moving on. Moving forward, letting it go. Moving on to calmer waters. Ace of Wands. See, then passionate new beginning starts. This could be a new relationship, but you see how it's passionate. It's not like, Mer. It's like firecrackers, and it's like flirting, and it's like passion and creativity and life and just laughing and off. Oh. That's the job. That's the relationship. It makes you feel alive. This is making you feel alive. Something new comes in. It's a big bang. Something big. But you got to move forward to get it. you got to move on to get it. You can't stay in this one thing if it's like, merp. Merp is like, meh, yucks. Meh, so-so, whatever. Eh. Mm, no really care. Like, whatever. It's mundane. It's okay. Five of Wands. It's like fighting with yourself fighting with yourself the sun leo energy heavy the sun is healing it's truth it's clarity it's illumination it's like the sun trumps this energy and goes you know what the truth is the truth is that ain't it chief the truth is no the truth is yeah it's like the sun comes in and just like highlights things it shines the truth the sun can also be about healing, right? This could also be a child. A child coming in. Oh, wow, the lilies. This is wisdom. 
old soul. I feel somebody's a very old soul. Pisces, of course. You guys are the last zodiac sign. You guys are very old souls. That's why you guys incarnate with so much shit. You guys have so much karma. You guys have so much issues. Whether it's you in your own life or you meet people that have a lot of issues. That's the thing about Pisces. You guys are just like really old souls. This is like most of your last physical incarnations. The dog. Faithfulness. Loyalty. This is your best friend. Someone here is going to be like your best friend. Or you started off as friends. Remember the guy you used to just talk to who was just your friend? Okay. Remember it says let your friends help you. Oh, I feel like for some of you it's a friend that crosses the line. Not in a bad way, but like you guys get the lines messed up. He calls you up. Hey, what you doing? You randomly see him. The garden. Something is public. Something comes out. What the hell is that? public something's public oh the mice someone has anxiety about something could be out in the open oh, someone's afraid to say it the mountain an obstacle overcoming this obstacle someone here is worried they got to overcome their fears and anxieties they've got to say it they got to come forward and say it too i feel like someone wants to reach out to you or you to them the locket yeah they're not going to let you go Whoever this is, if it's new or old, they will not let you go once they get their hands on you. The locket is treasuring something. It's tenderness. It's also love. It's happiness. It's everything you can imagine. Something that they hold really dear. They won't let, they won't let you go. This could also be how someone feels about you and they can't shake you if you're trying to get out of a relationship. And they're going, no, I love you. It's you. And you're just like, it ain't me. It ain't you. We're not good for each other. It could be that energy too. All right, Pisces, follow me on Instagram, xi underscore missy underscore xi. If you want to book a reading with me, click on my description box below first before you email me and tell me what you want first so I know what to invoice you for payment, okay? And also, if you would like to purchase a bracelet, my intention bracelets, I'm slowly starting to put up there. Uh, go to my website, take a look, see what you want, and then those will be shipped out in about a week and a half to two weeks or so, okay? See you guys later. Love you.